Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Pioneer BH280. This is a great family floor plan. You have the big slide out here opening this space up. You get the sofa directly across from the TV so you don't have to crane your neck and the big double over double bunks in the back plus excellent storage including a pantry. Let's actually start off right over here on the kitchen though. One of the things I appreciate is the fact that you get a big double bowl sink and a three burner cooktop in here. When I say big double bowl sink, what I mean is the fact that the bowls are actually deep. A lot of times, you know, that the bowls will stop kind of like right where this line is right here. You can't really fit a whole lot in there. It's not the case. These are quite usable. You'll also see the high rise faucet there it makes washing and rinsing some of those bigger dishes a little bit easier. Right behind that, you have a window, LED light up top here, and an electrical outlet over to the side. So if you have to plug in toaster, coffee maker, whatever else here in the kitchen, that's where you'll plug it in at. Right up top, you'll see the storage above the sink is pretty good. You have a little cubby hole up here above the microwave, of course the microwave itself, and then your hood underneath that with your light and fan. Underneath the hood, naturally, is your cooktop. You get the three burner cooktop. It's recessed with the glass cover. That way you can use this as prep space, which is great. You can fold it back once there for the front burner or fold it back a second time for the two rear ones. Plus this kind of doubles as a backsplash. Uh, this is the, the upgraded uh, cooktop. They, a lot of them have been upgraded this year. You can see you know, how it's a little more rugged looking than it has been in years past. Plus you get the visual upgrade here with your knobs as well as your handles. Uh, when we drop that down, that of course is your oven in case you like to bake while you're quick, uh, camping. You have a cutout right there, little storage underneath, spot for a small trash can, three full extension drawers right around to this side here, just giving you space for your flatware as well as some of your larger utensils, knives, spatulas, things like that. Right around to the side here, I do want to show you uh, your tank monitoring panel is located right there. Do note that on there you have uh, two controls for your water heater, one for LP, one for electric. You can turn on both of those at the same time for faster recovery. So, you know, if the whole family plans on taking showers back to back, highly recommend doing that. Then coming over here, you have the refrigerator, stainless steel panels on the front, freezer up top, fridge down below. You have a couple uh, crisper drawers down there as well. Folks, this unit does run off both propane and electric as well here, and it has automatic switchover. Moving in a little further, you get into the entertainment center. So this is something that uh, is kind of a little bit more unique to this floor plan. I really like the fact you're able to put the sofa directly across from the big TV. And you can see it from the U-shaped dinette too. So no matter kind of where you're sitting here, you have a decent angle to the TV, which is great, again, to help entertain the family on a rainy day. You do have a little bit of storage up top. You can see that right there. And then same thing down below. And, you know, it's actually as uh, one of the things I like about it is the fact that it is pretty deep. So you actually can store quite a bit in there, which is generally not the case for an entertainment center. So I do um, think that's pretty cool. Multimedia center is right here. And then you'll see that this down below is open and you have electrical outlets down there as well as your TV hookups. But if you have any auxiliary equipment you want to bring with you, if you want to bring the kids PlayStation or Xbox or whatever, you can slide that in there too. Storage over here to the side. Uh, in all honesty, I wish they put a hanging rod in here, but you know, it's something you can do on your own. Just put a small tension rod in there. These shelves are removable, so if you wanna take them out, you can do that. But having the shelves there, you know, is great for folded clothes, or if you do need extra pantry space, you can use it for that as well. Drawer here right underneath. And then you have your fuses, as well as your breaker panel right down below that. In the very back here are your two double over double bunks, as I mentioned, 200 pound weight capacity on these. So while they are great for children, a lot of times even two children, uh, adults like myself, you know, probably have to be pretty careful. Um, but again, you know, the, having the big bunks is awesome for the kiddos. You have the window in the back there that is an emergency exit. Hopefully you never have to use it for that, but uh, for safety and peace of mind, know that that is there. Lights on both of those as well. And then you have this storage here underneath, which is easy to access. I like that too. Uh, it's a great spot to put, you know, again, more of the kids' clothes. If you want to put like their dirty clothes down there in a duffel bag, something like that, it's a good spot for it. Right over here is the bathroom. We'll open it up. Pretty nice looking curtain, you know, for, for being, a, uh, being a shower curtain. When you make your way in here, I'll sit on the toilet just to kind of show you space here uh, with leg room. You know, you have plenty of leg room here in front. Same thing with the shoulders, you know, because it is a curtain and not a door, you have pretty good uh, space there. I'll move that aside so you can see the tub shower unit here. If you have kiddos, you can give them a tub, which is one of the reasons I kind of like tubs in a bunk model, to be quite honest. I'll stand in here to give you an idea of height. I'm six foot. 
You can see that uh, I just have a little bit of space here above my head. So, you know, you're six one, six two. You probably have to bend down a little, but otherwise you should be good. Hand wand is located right here. Of course, makes uh, showering a little bit easier. And then you have your shelves there as well. Over to this side, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. There is a little bit of storage behind that, which is nice. Hand towel ring right down below. Of course, your sink top here. Fancy book there. And then underneath, we have some storage there too. Here in the super slide is the jackknife sofa. This does drop down into a bed pretty easily. Pick it up, drop it down just like so, easy enough. Now, it doesn't make a huge bed, so most adults probably can't sleep here, but it is great for children. Um, you know, or if an adult wants to cuddle up, you can do that too. The great thing about a jackknife sofa though, folks, is all the storage you get underneath. That is great usable storage. It's pretty easy to access. Excellent spot for bedding or other large items. The other thing that I like about this is this right here. You're sitting here, you're watching TV. If it's just the two of you, you can drop this down. It kind of creates like a theater seating environment where you have the armrest, some cup holders here. They do light up just for that, you know, extra little uh, pop and flare. But more importantly is the fact that it has dual USB ports right here. So if you are here and you charge your tablet or cell phone, you can plug it right in there. It's just kind of convenient. Up top, a little bit extra storage, decorative glass there. We'll open that up for you so you can kind of get an idea of the size. And then moving over is the U-shaped dinette. Now, if you have adult guests, this will be the bed in which you'd want them to sleep on. Uh, it does drop down nice and easy. Just remove the legs right here from these flanges in the floor, there's flanges under the table as well. That will then drop down and sit along these rails. You have rails kind of on all three sides here. And for this one, you actually have these two cushions. I'd probably just store these under the bed if it were me. Uh, but you know, a lot of times you use the back cushions and this one, you wanna use these ones. You can kind of see how just to give you an idea, you know, they, they kind of fit right in between there, but they'll just fit right on top of the table. So that will, that will essentially be your bed and you can sleep two adults on here pretty easily, quite comfortably. As far as the table, obviously the, the advantage of the U-shaped dinette is that you get more elbow room. Uh, a lot of people think you can sit more people around a U-shaped dinette. That's generally not true. Usually you can only fit four people, you know, one on each end, two right here because you'll start bumping knees otherwise, but it does give you a lot more elbow room and it feels a lot more spacious. And then this is a great spot to be able to, you know, play games, obviously eat meals, things like that. And you have windows on not just uh, the slide out right here, but also on the side, helping to bring in a lot of that natural light. Now, right behind me right here, I mentioned there was a pantry and that's what this is. I think this is pretty cool. So you'll have the shelves right up top, perfect for, you know, canned goods or some of your bigger appliances like blenders, toasters, things like that. Then you have the big space underneath. Now, if it were me, this is where I'd put my vacuum. You know, obviously you can put whatever else you want in there, but it is a big space. So for some of those larger items, an uh, excellent spot to put it. Mirror right here, come on, check yourself out before you leave for the day. A little shelf right there as well. And then down here you have, uh, again, kind of like this little bar top area with an electrical outlet. Uh, I would probably, you know, put my cell phone up here and plug it in right there. But again, whatever you want to use it for is all you. Then you have a little bit of storage here running the length of this. The master bedroom features an actual slider door here rather than a curtain, so at night you have some added privacy. The bed is an RV queen, so 60 by 74 inches, and then you have big storage here underneath. So again, if you need to store large items, that is just one more place you're able to put them in this RV. Both sides have nightstands with electrical outlets, so if you need to you know, plug anything in, cell phone, CPAP machine, whatever it may be, you have the outlets and plenty of space to put it. And then right up above that, you have mirrored wardrobe space. So you'll see the hanging rod for the clothes you wanna hang, additional storage going across the top right here, and then an LED light right underneath. You do have windows on both sides, the one is an emergency exit, and if you wanna watch TV before bed, you'll see you have TV hookups right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer BH280. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it much easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Rather than having to crank it up and down, you simply flip the switch just like so. You'll also see that there's a light right here. Now, not that it provides a ton of light, but if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, just add some extra visibility. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover to help hide those tanks. And then behind that are your rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And if we kind of take a look at the front as well as going along the side, you will see the new upgraded graphics package here for 2019. Takes on a little more modern look than what they've had in years past. 
Coming around to the side, the pass-through does have the covered hinge on there, so that we don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It also uses a different key, rather than a 751 key, which is what a lot of them use. See, this one is your M key, which uh, in all honesty just tends to work a lot better, and not as many people will have it out there. So your stuff will be a lot more secure. People aren't going to be breaking into your pass-through. We take a look inside the pass-through here. You will see how it is fully finished. It is clean. You don't see any structure. You don't see a bunch of stuff hanging out, no plumbing, anything like that. And if you take a look right up here, you will also see that your power stabilizer jack controls are right there on the wall. And those are located, of course, right down here. The one control will operate your front two. The other control will operate the rear two. Bear in mind, this is not a leveling system. You do want to have the coach leveled out. But this will make it again so you don't have to wear out your arm cranking things up and down. Just touch a button and then that uh, the stabilizers will move themselves. It's kind of tough to see, but if you see underneath here, you can see the enclosed underbelly as well. That'll help keep some of the critters and stuff out, hopefully in the off season, as well as a lot of the road grime uh, as you're traveling, especially in wet conditions. Right up top here is your power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. And you can kind of see the LED light strip on right there. You know, if you... Uh, Open the awning up a little more, obviously it'll get a little more light coming down here, but that is even rolled up. It, it does provide a lot of light, which is great at nighttime. Just flip of a switch, super easy. Three foldable steps to get in here with the foldable grab handle here as well. You know, a lot of RVs in this price point will just have the plastic one that's mounted right here on the side. I do enjoy the fact they give you a little bit larger one because that way you have more control from that first step uh, as you're entering or exiting the RV, making sure no one falls, gets hurt, anything like that. Up top as well, underneath that power awning are your two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but it's Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here on your smartphone and control it, you can do that. If you want to watch TV, here's your outside TV hookups, cable outlet right there, electrical outlet right underneath. Obviously, you can plug anything in the electrical outlet right there, but uh, the intention of cable outlet there, is, again, is for TV. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have water hookup, this is where you'll fill your fresh water tank. Water heater right here next to it, as I mentioned, folks, that does run off both uh, propane and electric. You have easy lube axles on the uh, Pioneer, which are nice. It's a little bit easier on the maintenance side of things. Rather than constantly having to repack your bearings, there's a little greaser in there you can pump some grease into. It is still a process. You'll definitely still want to know what you're doing, but it is uh, easier on the maintenance side. Right back here, one of the big advantages of having a bunk model is the outside kitchen. You'll see that this one is magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. Don't have to worry about anything breaking off. The kids go and try to smash it down. Big thick door on here too. Take a look at that, the door thickness. A lot of times on pass-throughs, things like that, on a lot of manufacturers, the doors are like this. Not the case here. Uh, right up top, you have that, some extra storage. Good spot if you want to lay down like a, a stack of cups or paper plates, things like that. You have this guy right here which pulls out, so you have a little water basin essentially. This just kind of plugs in right there, hot and cold water access. This is not plumbed, it's just you know, a little, uh, like I say, like a water basin. Take that, just kind of dump it wherever, but it gives you the water access outside. And you have the two burner cooktop right here that does connect to your propane quick connect, which is underneath. You can see that right there. Bear in mind, if you have a grill or something you want to set up out here, you can plug that in as well. Uh, just make sure that um, you, know, you take the regulator off because there's already one up at the tanks. But having the propane quick connect there is nice. Right over here is your outside fridge. Perfect spot for your beverages, condiments, whatever else you want to throw out there. And my personal opinion, that's half the reason I have an outside kitchen is to have the fridge. And then coming right around to the back, this one does have the bumper with your end cap, so you can pop that off and gives you storage space for your sewer hose. More importantly, though, is the fact that you have the cargo rack right here. 200-pound uh, weight capacity on the cargo rack, dropping it down is simple. You have pins on both sides. You pull a little uh, cotter pin right here and pull the pins on both sides. That'll drop down. The reason I really like this, folks, though, is because it comes from the manufacturer. A lot of people don't realize this, but when you start strapping stuff on your bumper, whether it's a bike rack or, you know, a spare tire carrier or whatever else it may be that doesn't come from the manufacturer, a lot of manufacturers, if they find out, they'll void your warranty. So having this come straight from the manufacturer is great because you know it is covered. Great, uh, excellent spot for bikes, coolers, wood, whatever else, you know, you need to throw back there. Tucked away back here, it's a little bit tough to access because you know you do have to drop this down, but you have the outside shower right there with hot and cold water access, and then right next door to that is your black tank flush. 
that's a cool feature to have because instead of having to stick a toilet or a uh, hose down your toilet to wash it out, you hook that hose up right there. Black tank has sprayers built in. It'll wash out anything that didn't get dumped out when you drained your black tank. And then lastly, right on the back here up top is your backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera on here, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning you'll save money on labor. On the off door side is your 30 amp detachable power cord, cable inlet right next door to that. Up a little ways is your city water inlet, so if you have water at your campsite, that is where you will connect it to. And right down below here is your termination with both your black and gray tank valves. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Pioneer BH280. If you're interested in this bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.